What is happening, y'all? Welcome back as we make our way to wrap up the capital. So, uh, the first thing we're going to be doing is going over and smacking that gargoyle. Of course, we're starting at the West Capitol Rampart. Let me pull out. Actually, let me toss a bunch of these things in storage. I'm, I'm very uh, OCD about this. I can't... I hate having things in my inventory that I'm not using or that I have no plans to use. Oh, hang on. Stay there. There we go. Now we're looking good. I don't think you can hurt a guy gore with fire or blood, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Probably the hardest thing about the capital, honestly, is that for a lot of these fights, you don't get summons. Which, you know, up until now, almost all of this stuff, we've had a mimic with us. Die. Get yourself a golden seed, because you earned it. The gargoyles halberd after that. That's honestly like the hardest fight and just turns of like general capital progression. The rest of this is going to be pretty easy. Uh, so we could have climbed up from down there. I don't believe there's any loot. I should have looked, but I don't think there is. Anyway, ignoring that though. Head on up the tree. And then head on down the tree. From here, we're going to head on over to this first duelist. We might be able to... No, can we out-zug-zug him? Oh, oh boy, he's beefy. Rumsoft, when do I give it the great axe with the ball on chain? I want it so bad. If I had that as a weapon, man... There's no feeling worse than when an enemy has a super badass weapon and you just can't have it. Like, I want it. That thing is so cool. I want the other ones dual hammers, too, with the ability to throw it. Which, that's dookie, because we had gotten that hammer way back at the start, and instead they took the hammer away from us and they replaced it with, uh, where is he at? Knight Angvil, wherever he's at. This guy. Look, he's not bad, but still, that feels a little, you know, feel a little robbed, right? But go on and talk to him. He's upset. Uh, just do about the noble. So anyway, once you do that, you're good. Um, by the way, he has new incantations and stuff now. Um, I think most of these he had at the other place, but like Discus of Light I know is new. Uh, what else is new? Great heal might be new-ish. Anyway, look into that if you're a faith boy. Uh, go on over here. We get Starfist. It's just a punching thing that has spikes all over it. Pretty cool. Head on over here for another gladiator. I'm gonna try Golden Land. Golden Land should stagger. If it doesn't, then they just nerfed my baby. Man. It sucks. I mean, he got staggered at the end there, but that used to like stagger Crucible Knights. It doesn't do that anymore. Anyway, grab the Ritual Shield. Um, and go around this corner for a fur calling. Now, uh, fun fact: these Colosseums. This is the biggest of the Colosseums, of course. But in addition to this, uh, you know, of course, we have the one that's over here. It's like a half Colosseum, and it's cracked. Uh, and then we have the other one over here, where the Great Jar's at. Uh, people have looked into the game files, and there's a ton of shit in these Colosseums. There's a ton of stuff. So there's a good chance that we're probably going to get some type of PvP-related DLC. It sucks that they're locked up for now, because I'd love to have a dueling arena, but... Yeah, it's kind of ass, right? 
Anyway, I'm going to take this down for now. Go back to this. Uh, from here, though, head on back down. Now we're going to go up the tree, killing a bunch of stuff. Let's see, there's a branch right here. Let's go up that. You don't got your sword spear yet. Now's a good chance. There's a bunch of these dudes. Maybe you'll get one. I mean, you don't need a Hey, we got one! Super good weapon. Super, super good. Thank you. It made my life easier. Yeah, but you should be able to just slaughter these dudes. They shouldn't really be a concern. And drop down. Honestly, this might be the best place to farm for those things now that I think about it. Because we get a grace up ahead. So you could just run the tree, kill him, warp back. Run the tree, kill him, warp back. And there's no real reason to kill all these things. We came all the way down here. I think it's like a rune six or something. Yeah, smithing stone six. Fantastic. So excited to have that. Makes my day. I know I'm being a smart ass, but... Alright, we get plenty of... Plenty of, uh... Good upgrade mats in the final zone and stuff that we have coming up. I think there's probably some down in the subterranean shining grounds as well. But I think we might, I don't know, I'm debating if I want to try and knock out Morgoth now. It depends. We'll, we'll see what the episode time is at because I was originally planning on saving him. Just because of the uh, amount of runes he drops. I think he's harder than uh, Omen King. Nice shoulder check, bro. Alright, after you have fought all of them... Go on down here... Another Guardian Sword Spear! Oh my god, now I can dual wield him like a champ if I wanted. Head on up. Uno mas. Okay. So, uh, heal up. As soon as we walk in here, there's going to be a boss fight against the Avatar of Godfrey, the first Elden Lord. Um, now, this fight's not too bad, honestly. You're probably going to just obliterate this dude. But, uh, you know, it's definitely... You should be prepared regardless. We're going to go ahead and pop our mech once we're in. I need to add that thing into my flask so that I can uh, summon the other guys that I leveled up. He has a big axe. It shouldn't be bad at all. There it is. Godfrey, the first lord, and our fourth and final talisman pouch. You can finally have a build put together. Oh, yeah, we're looking good. So, uh, in terms of build, this is probably what quality is going to stick with. Green turtle, we'll get the earth tree favor plus two. Um, sword seal, and then this. I might drop sword seal to, to boost my weapon damage a little bit later. And with that, I can, yeah, medium load with great shields. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Alright, so go on and touch some grace. And after that kill, you should definitely have enough to get a level up, so. Hmm. Am I going higher? I might as well. Let's let's take it up to 30, I guess. Um, so we're gonna go that way. In a little bit. Ignore it for now. Um, I don't believe there's anything over here. No, there's not. Okay. We wanna go this way outside. And there's nothing over there. Actually, wait, was there something behind that that pot? I think there might be. Let's look. Nope, just a lot of dead stuff over here. Okay. Like second guessing myself. 
go on up this. You can see. You can't. There you go. Now you can see it. Shiny over there. We're gonna get to that in just a second. Head on outside and then turn. Uh, this is the way to get to the main boss. Don't go that way just yet. If we have time, we'll get to him this episode. But like I said, I'd rather do the shunning grounds first. Into the window we go. And you can go get that thing right now, but there's some other stuff we're going to get. Over here we have the Erd Tree Bow. Of course, as I mentioned, the Great Bow variant of this is, uh, you know, back when we break those pots to destroy the chariot. But it's almost identical to this. Looks the same exact thing. Also has split physical and holy scaling. It's just a Great Bow instead. Uh, go in here. Get this. Kick the ladder. Not that it matters because we don't need to go back down there. And we're going to go up here and pick up the Golden Order Principia. Now, from here, we need a spell that is in that book. So we're going to go on over to our good old friend, Muriel the Pastor. Turtle bro for life. Why chase down a specific merchant when you can get all of your spells covered here? Uh, we're gonna give some prayer books. Oh, what very well. Heresy, all things. Two fingers, and then golden Heresy, order. Let's take a look at all the stuff. Uh, so incantations. Uh, let's see. Lord's aid alleviates blood, poison, sleep. Interesting. Um, this thing is super slow, but it's kind of good. This is what we want. You have to buy law of regression. Pick that up. All uh, the rest of the stuff we have all seen before. I think that's it. Uh, Urge Rebo, Kick Ladder, Prince of do Turtle for Turnin. Okay. So from here, let's go back to Urtree Sanctuary. And now the tricky part is we need to get up to 37 intelligence to cast this miracle. So mages, you're going to have no problem. Those that are not mages, however, we have a plan. So the first thing we're going to do, go over. I uh, can't believe I got both of those to drop. That's so crazy to me. Um, we want to pull out the Grafted Blade Greatsword. Besides that, uh, you should also have a couple things. So, we want to have access to the Twin Sage Glintstone Crown. Uh, over here, we're going to need the Stargoose, yeah, Stargazer Heirloom. Um, having the America Scar Seal can also be an option. Uh, and where is it? I get 10 out of one thing. So, let me go here real fast. We're going to go to Wondrous Physic, and we want to do the Intelligence Knot. Put that in as well. And then, of course, make sure you put the spell on. And most importantly, make sure that you have a seal that can cast it. This, with only a 4 Strength, 10 Faith requirement, should be the easiest. Uh, now, before we even go and do this, obviously, we want to have our Great Rune active. Now, the trick here is we need to get up to 37 Intelligence to cast this thing. So, how are we going to do that? Well, I'm playing a quality build. We have nothing in intelligence we can do is we can put on this guy. That is going to boost us up a bunch. We can put on this guy. That's going to get us another five. We already have another five that is coming on in from our uh, our great rune. Uh, we can put on the grafted blade greatsword, which 40 strength, but if you two-hand it, you only need like 27, and you should be able to pick up some stats from a source seal to reach those thresholds. We can do that. That buff. And now we are at 37. Uh, and the very last part is going to be my knot. When I pop this, it's going to give me an additional 10 intelligence. So all of these things put together, you should be able to pull it off. Um, the only thing I don't have on, of course, is the, the, the America seal and that'll get us another three if you wanted to fit that on but i mean honestly if you can't hit the intelligence threshold to use this thing with all of this junk added onto your character your next best bet is going to be just respec just respec and come back i will say you don't need to do this for platinum this is for one of the non-platinum secret endings go on over here regression alone veal secrets and then we're going to cast this and that should boost me up and not. Wait, did it not work? Why are we not? Oh, you're only worth five? Okay, hang on. We're just a pinch short, that's okay. 
That's okay. I'll take you off and put you on. Nope, wrong one. Uh, Americas. There we go. We now have it. That is going to change the shape of the statue. And now we can go back to looking like we're normal again. God, so much shit to do that. Get rid of that. Go back to my weapon. Go back to this. Go back to this and take off. Uh, put that back on. All right, I think we're all back to normal. Uh, so with doing all of that, we've now revealed the statue. And... Um, now, honestly, it's going to be faster to just warp. Go back to West Capitol Rampart, and we want to run back over and talk to Gold Mask now. Literally, like, pulling out all the stops to get enough intelligence to do that. And, I mean, if I was able to hit those marks, most of y'all should, too, because this is a quality build. We have put nothing into intelligence. Okay, talk to Gold Mask. Gold and order totality. What an well, not Master's finger moves again. Resume. I have the so I'd like to glimpse into. So he says a glimpse, but I don't think he gives us anything. I'm not sure what's supposed to happen there. It may be bugged with 1.03. Indeed, I apply to think, or at least. Such as how would such a thing sadly I can do you have oh. well in truth it matters very little I am merely Um I think this might be what he's referring to because he doesn't have this before. Uh but so enchant shield, light of regression, increasing all forms of non physical damage negation and ailment resistance. Pretty cool, so I'm gonna have to pick it up. Never know if it'll be useful. I'll get that, even though it's probably dookie anyway. Um so yes, with that, we are now ready for the boss. Um Damn it. Uh, all right. So full disclosure, I have not done this in the prep, so might miss something, but. Oh, no, no, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, there's that's something we forgot. There's something we forgot. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me change back my stuff. We're going to want my I want my thing back to normal. Oh, something I almost forgot. That's important, too. Uh, Twiggy cracked. Da, 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 da. Okay, let me. There we go. Okay. Um, what do I want? What do I want? Charge the tax, break stances. Um want, I mean the HP restoration is kind of fun. Oh, you know what? Let's put this on, the Cerulean Hidden. That way I can pull out the other summons and, and try those to show them off. Alright, so we're gonna run out the west entrance again. This is the same one we went down to do that law of regression. I got sidetracked with finishing the regression quest. I forgot to do this other side quest. Well, not side quest, but uh, legendary armaments down here. We gotta go pick that up. I think we could do the approach to Morgoth and then save Morgoth for later, because most of that's pretty straightforward. I think there's... Um, it's like almost, I don't think there's even loot along the way. It's basically like one spell and then we have more got. Alright, so kill the perfumers. Grab the holy grease. You can see there's a shiny boy that's going to run away. 
We're not worried about that. We are interested in this man. We'll get the shiny ball in a second. Yeah, come on. You want to get parried? Ow. Okay. All right. Yeah. Talk shit. Get hit. I got it. Let's go. Try that again. Oh, gotcha. Just seeing if I have more critical on my hammer. See, I'm you, but the better version. Feel dying to somebody wearing your armor. Anyway, run down this little shit. Oh my god. Get you barrier of gold. Super good spell. Um just to show that one, I can't stress this enough, especially for PvP. It only needs 24 faith, and this is a massive amount of magic damage negation. It shuts down mages, shuts down Moonville spammers. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Okay, uh, now, see the big spear? I'm gonna go on over here. And right around this spot, oh, there's a message there, but you can see how the balcony's broken. We can jump over it and fall down. Now, a bunch of these enemies are gonna notice us. That's okay, we've already taken our thing. You want to jump up, jump up, jump up, and the bolt of Grassix. Woo! You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Ha ha ha, I've stolen your thingy. I grace right here so we can warp out. And with that, we have the Bolt of Grand Six. Let's talk about this. This is not only a legendary armament, uh, but also super, super good. Take you off, sort of chest. Uh, da, da. Where is it at? Uh, so it has Ancient Lightning Spear on it. You can throw this thing out and chunk people. Classifies as a spear. 40 dex, 20 strength, but DD scaling. I think this actually leans more towards dexterity when it's fully upgraded. Uh, but if you've been looking for a good spear, this thing, this thing hurts. And that special will chunk something. You hit it with the Ancient Lightning Spear and it's just like, and that's like 2,000 damage. So, very, very solid choice if you're looking for a spear. I mean, obviously it's a legendary armament, so it's hard to not be. Uh, but now we'll go back to Erdtree Sanctuary. So, uh, back to what I was saying before. Um, actually, let me see. I think Gold Mask is gone. I want to take a peek real fast. So if he's gone, we can go grab his mask as well. We should be able to. There was his mask might be later. Let's see, are you still is that? Yeah, he's still over there. So I don't know if we can get his mask yet. We might be able to. It's probably it's probably near the end of the quest, but we'll get it later, whatever. Um, so this next part, I I have not done this in prep yet. I've done this obviously on my own playthrough, and I've done it on my new game plus playthrough, but. I haven't prepped it, but I'm looking at the time and it's like 23 minutes and it feels silly to just be like, well, we're out of content, folks. I guess we're going to cut the episode off and I'll see you next time. Huh? So we're just going to push through, at least get up to Morgoth and then possibly kill him. Uh, I do know at this point killing Morgoth isn't going to trigger anything negative. We can freely kill him without cause for concern. So instead of going left where we went before, we'll just go along this path. I know there's an assassin... And then I believe a spell we can grab, and I think that's it here. Yeah, you can see the assassin. It's very easy to just run past this guy, because, you know, he slowly stands up, so... Definitely make sure you, you beat her on down. I think all the assassins are actually female. Blessing of the Erd Tree is just a nice fat heal, if I remember correctly. It's like a heal over time. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Yes, restoring a large amount of HP. So, yeah, let's just kill him. We'll kill him. We're at 24 minutes. There's no reason we can't. 
Uh, so this guy also uses Blood Flame. Um, you you shouldn't have problems here. We're gonna just for for shits. Um, who do I want to use here? Aga or Tish? Um. Oh wait, Tish hasn't been upgraded. All right, well we're gonna pull Aga out instead of the mimic. Fun little cutscene. He basically calls everybody traitors. What is thy business with these thrones? This is is a badass uh, cutscene. So I'm gonna let this one play out. Godric the Golden. The twin prodigies, Mikola and Melania. General Radan. Praetor Rikard. Luna Princess Rani. Willful traitors, all. Thy kind are all of a piece. There's one he didn't talk about. And that's Mog, the Lord of Blood. Pillagers emboldened by the flame of ambition. So anyway, his big walking stick is actually a sick-ass looking sword, and now we fight him. Um, but yeah, so it's, I find it pretty cool that he, so Mog, the uh, Lord of Blood, is like his twin brother, basically. And you'll notice he didn't mention Mog at all. Mog is the only one that he did not call a traitor, which I find kind of, I mean, there's no reason to think his brother's not a traitor, but I just find it really funny. Because literally everybody else, he's like, traitors all. Yo, get off Aga, man. I'm gonna beat that ass. If you remember fighting him at the start, he's honestly not that bad. When he gets staggered like this back up, he's about to do a big old explosion. I'm gonna just go back and beat his ass. Honestly, I didn't find him that hard. A lot of people were like, you didn't think he was he was memorable? I'm like, the second time? No, we just beat his ass. Like, literally, we just bullied this man. Yeah, beat his ass, Aga. Shard Bearer Morgant, in remembrance of the Omen King. Woo! Woo, I'm the best, I'm a champion. Fuck your throne. So if you go on over here, you'll touch it. Impenetrable thorns with you all, none may enter the Erd Tree. And uh, now we basically find out that we need to burn down the Erd Tree or light it aflame to burn away the thorns so that we can go in. Resting right at this grace should trigger that, I believe. Hello again. Allow me a moment. You are unable to end prevented by the mantle of barbs. The thorns are impenetrable. A husk of the Ur Tree's being. The only way to stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord. My purpose. So I'd like you to under to the flame of ruin. Then, and guide you. So with the rolled medallion, we can officially go on to the next area. I don't, I don't need you to do this for me. I can do this myself. She just want to touch my hand. Is there more dialogue with her? Let me see. Ah, there was. Um, while we're here, if you're doing the box side quest, I think he's like right around here and he gives you a gesture, but you know, like I said, there's nothing good out of him, so. Uh, so we're not going to do the roll route yet. I already touched on this. We're going to go here. We jump off the rooftops. We go down through the door and we're good. Uh, really easy. And then we just kind of go around and then we go up this way and then we actually get his great tower along the way and then we work our way on up and then the grand lift of rolled. And we go on up, and from this lift, we also can go over here to the Hidden Halleck Tree region. 
Uh, but that's gonna all be something for another episode because we still have the entire underground sewer portion where we have to fight his twin brother and all that jazz. Uh, so before we wrap up round table, let's talk about that remembrance. I also think the fingers, yeah, the fingers is in contemplation as well. Well, you know what the fingers shake when they are burnt. No matter. My. I want to burn. She goes, no, we don't do that. Ooh, That's bad. Naughty, naughty. The finger. Mm. But he did it well. Who will go on? Take the. You must only dismiss. We have to get the kindling from the giant's forge. That's what we're gonna get. Well, let's look at here. So, two things. Uh, Regal, Omen, Baron. Honestly, this thing's just not good. Uh, you use 50 FP, it's gonna unleash a bunch of wraiths. It's... It's basically a spell for people that don't have the faith or intelligence to use real spells. Like, it's not terrible, but it's not particularly good either. Um, the Morgoth's Cursed Sword. This thing's not too shabby. Uh, this has a pretty cool move with Cursed Blood Slice. Obviously, it being a curved sword is very similar to the one we're using. You need a 17 arcane investment, but I don't know. To be honest, I kind of want to, like, dual wield it with my own. I think that'd be fun. So I think I'll pick that up. I'll pick it up. I think I got enough stuff to level that up, and 17 arcane is, uh... I mean, hell, I could get that from, like, a helmet. Um, or I could just respec a little bit out of endurance. Let's, let's see if I have enough to level it up. Like, I know we can't get it to 10, but... I can get it up to plus nine, and we can see what the scaling on does. And I can show you all the weapon art. They are charms. It's all the same. One, two, three, four, five, six. An eight, and a nine. Ooh, yeah. Here we go. Let's go to some test dummies real fast. Uh, gate front. I've been looking for new weapons that I want to use with this build. Oh, well, we're going to put you... Put you in the offhand, and you are... Well, hang on, let me get the arcane real fast. Because if I do decide I want to use this, I'll just respec for it. Um, where is my funky mask? Where is my funky mask? There we go. That gives us the arcane. 553 compared to 752. It is B dex when it's almost fully leveled up. Because what I'm thinking is the, the the bleed between the two of them. Wham, wham. And I like how they're almost like the same exact length. That's that's fun to me. I mean that's pretty cool, right? Boom. No, no, maybe I'll respect so I can use them both. It might be fun, you know, just mix things up a bit. So anyway, we're wrapping on up. Um, next, we're going down into the sewers, which will be nice and, uh, yeah, nice and great. But anyway, uh, oh, hang on a second. Let's see something here. Let me make sure I'm using it right. Uh, da, 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 da. Input for a follow-up attack. So I think I can do something here. I think I can. Oh, can you not do it because it's not in your main hand? Damn. I was going to put Blood Flame on this and then swap to this. Oh no, hang on. No, I can't. That sucks. Let's actually go... I'm just kind of curious on the... Well, if everyone's going to come. I mean, these guys are level 1. They're not going to be worth it, but I can test it on this dude. He has a shield. Seems like it could be good. Anyway, maybe I'll respec to use it. Maybe I won't. I guess you'll have to come back to the next episode to find out what I decide. So I'll see you all then.